this is um, this is my pre-run to see if I can get and create the pieces I needed. So this is the door panel, the inside panels. This is the door frame, uh, the edge. You can see there's a groove cut in there. And then this is the trim that I made that's going to go under. So the way this goes together is this slides into here. You can see how that comes in there. And then this trim piece goes in like this. So and that's how that whole pan panel, that uh, panel door goes together. And get the nice stay in there. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to come back and um, sand this down enough or sand this at an angle um, to get it in there proper. But um, that's how that's how it's going to look. And uh, these this is uh, this video is the process of how this is made. These these door panel pieces are made. This is, I want full height at four inches so that my bevel comes up. I need a half inch to go inside the upright on that side. This is one and a half inches long, so I need to account for that. And then I want my rise to be right there. Well, that this will be the rise from here down to here. This distance from here to here is the trim. And this is what's going inside the dado cut on the exterior board. So as you can this line from here to here probably be concaved or whatever. That is gonna be up to the raised panel. This is the raised panel and this is where everything goes inside the door. So I'm going to use a saw sideways. So It's going to be, it's going to be right at 20 degrees is what I want. And I don't want this to move because what we're measuring is the distance doing the top of the blade right here and there, which if we look at this, Four inches. So we'll see how this works.
see we're really close to that line right there so I want to go just a little more then what we come and do is we cut this off you can see it's come right up to that line <clears throat> then we come in and cut this off right here and this is a little short obviously the board is too short but that's how you would get it so I'm going to go ahead and cut the boards we'll see how I always practice there's another one I practice so this is what we want it to look like we want it to have a raised panel on both sides and then you cut that edge off that, that far edge so that's what makes then you come back and you sand everything down um, just a rough cut one so